took about three months to get a clearance. I had a secret clearance from Grumman, but this was secret special access required, which is a couple of levels above secret uh, to, to be able to access the program. So I was placed in the uh, penalty box, they called it, until the clearance came through. And then when it came through, they then would could introduce me to what it was we were going to fly. And, and the, I remember uh, Alan Brown was one of the senior engineers, and he took me into a room, and the drawings were up on the on the wall, regular blue, blueprint drawings. And he said, "What do you think of that?" And if you, as you know, it's a very unusual looking airplane, and it's very highly swept angles. And uh, my first thought was, "The darn thing must be a reentry vehicle. It had to be something like that." And uh, then he explained it to me what it was for, that it was to evade radar and I really didn't pick up on how important that was at the time. I, I thought that was okay, good, it's to evade radar. How well does it fly? Is it a real fighter? Can we shoot things down with it? You know, what a pilot wants to do is uh, be able to maneuver his airplane well. And, and it turns out the airplane is pretty, you know, uh, low performance, relatively speaking, to the current day fighters. And so um, that's uh, how I was introduced to the airplane. And then I was assigned to the weapon system to work on the displays with my old friend, Ken from Grumman, who was working down there at Lockheed and at Grumman at the same time. Well, the first prototype was on the floor. Uh, what was available was the wooden mock-up. They had a complete wooden mock-up, full-scale wooden mock-up they were using to to do the wire runs in. This is really crude, you know, manufacturing process quite a few years ago. But they were using this wooden mock-up to, to place displays in the cockpit, to, to locate uh, boxes and, uh, you know, see if they would fit. And We also had offices right alongside that, and we had people that were working on the displays, and, and, and I was assigned to the, to the cockpit and, uh, displays. And, we had two other pilots that were uh, working on other aspects of the airplane as well with the engineers.